Ooh, it's a little nippy out. Hey, welcome back everyone. We're gonna get harvesting corn in a little bit. We're gonna finish up that field and then hop into another one. Just wanna show you guys the progress out here. All the concrete's poured. This was poured yesterday. Pretty sure I can walk on it. I guess we'll find out. So as we were explaining, you know, we got where we work the cattle and we're chasing them up. They got that stamp in there, so there's pretty good traction. Hopefully the cattle won't be slipping on that. Yeah, so this should make calving and just working cattle in general really easy. Step back, that seems like a lot of concrete. I bet that was expensive. So hopefully when Dad and I get a chance, we're going to fill these back in. Maybe make some upgrades, put a better gate right here. We had a poor gate that I personally built a couple years back. Really excited about working cattle. Yay, fun. We had a bit of a mishap. So you remember last video, we broke that cone. Well, it got all cocked. And so when we started unloading the first load yesterday, it kind of piled up in that cone since it wasn't flowing straight through. And it was throwing it, riding down the grain bin, and it piled up back here. So we quit a little early yesterday, and I used a skid loader to pick it back up, trying to do my best. You know, it's, we haven't gotten a rain, so it's pretty dry. Hey, Ellie. We got the majority of it. There's, it's, it just started getting dark. It just slid down. There was a pretty decent pile, I'd say about 50, 60 bushels about. We'll finish sweeping up that corn maybe later today. It's only gonna take about eight more semi loads to fill that bin. So hopefully we don't overfill it and I personally kind of thought we should wait to clean it up just in case it happens again and then you only got to clean it up once but uh hmm. so like I said there's only eight trucks left that's going to take to fill that and we're going to move over to the big silo and it's not that big compared to the bin next to it but we haven't used that thing in like 10 years Something exciting, we got a uh, Kelloland coming out. That's one of our local news stations. They, they're doing a piece on the whole YouTube channel thing. One of my friends, one of my friends bet me uh, whether or not I could work moist into the interview today. And I think that's funny, because I'm a child. Broskies, how we doing? Hey, you got some cockle burr on your head. Fed the critter some corn, and I think we're ready to head to the field now. All right, let's get these machines warming up. I, I assume people are getting kind of, uh, what's the word? Thought they get a, a story from you? Oh. So do you have anything this morning or? No. No, I gotta says. think about it. <laughs> I'm out of stories, people. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Don't! No! I'll come up with something, I guess. I gotta go back in the vault. Hey Cole. Yeah. Is today the day that Kelloland's coming out? Yeah. Oh, I think I dated a, a reporter once. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, she, she reported everything back to her mother that I didn't say. Oof. And the tarp's open. So I, I got my flu shot yesterday. My mom kind of played a cruel trick on me all, all I heard was shots and so I was pretty excited but it didn't turn out to be what I was thinking this IVT tractor is pretty sweet the transmission it does make it a lot easier this is the first year we've ever ran an IVT on the grain cart and I can just with this little roller I can fine-tune it it changes 0.2 mile per hour every little click so I can dial in real easy what, what speed I want to go. Morning, Jeff. So we got a pretty good load on the grain cart back here. Dad's waiting on me. Sounds like that cone 
at home is leaking again. So I guess that means it's spilling more corn on the ground. So I gotta head back there, see what's up, see if we can fix it. Man, if I just wouldn't have sneezed, didn't see that video, you're very confused now, but son of a gun. I'll fill that truck the rest of the way, take off with the pickup, because I can drive a lot faster than that. Hopefully we can get that sorted out. When I was in town yesterday, I should've just found another cone somewhere. I suppose another one of those cones is a good few hundred dollars. It's better than spilling hundreds of bushels of corn on the ground, I suppose. Good news is we only got, oh, three passes, oh, four. There's one hiding. Don't worry, I'm going the speed limit. Yeah, I don't know, that thing's just, from one day to the next, for some reason, the auger's just like moved and that cone gets crooked and then there's a space in there because I broke the one strap and ugh, just frustrating. Looks like dad filled the grain cart pretty good. Howdy. 48,000. Yeah, pretty good. So he's gonna be hitting the last pass there, meet him at the end of the field, and then we're gonna move to another field that's just a mile about straight east, a little bit south. And there's the last of the field. So am I supposed to follow you? Am I supposed to bring the pickup? Seems like that would have been a good time to communicate. We could use a rain. Now this right here is one of our more fun fields. It it's usually a pretty good yielder. Should be should be a lot of corn out here. Might be able to lift over that one. Whew. Just barely. It's always exciting when it just barely fits. You see that culvert? I once shot a coon down in there. Got a nice new corner in this field. Because somebody, I did, hit that corner with the tillage machine a couple of years ago. Hey, big floppy. I don't even have to say it. It's the best part of the day. You know what time it is. Lunch time. With the wind and the dryness, looks like the co-op is getting ready for a fire. And I actually just drove by another farmer. He, he's got a big water truck in where he's harvesting right now. Got a gourmet meal. To the left, you can see Big Johnson Farms with their 40-foot draper. Woo! That's a beauty. Right here, if you look to the right, right there, water truck. So if we have an issue, I know who to call. Jeepers, creepers. I was in like road gear, all of a sudden I see this giant trench. Look at this tire sink in. Oh man. Hopefully that's not across the whole field, that's ridiculous. Making sure the combine's doing a good job. Getting in my way, oh my lanta, buddy. I can't reach much further. Every time we open up a new field, you know, I'm always thinking the obvious, you know, what's it yielding? And I just feel like dad should call me as soon as he gets a good feel for it and tell me how it's doing. So I always just gotta wait and wait and wait and then I just get sick of it and then I call him. This thing everybody wants to know. This field's going decent. We're hitting some, uh, we're hitting some 180s. We're not consistently hitting the 200s yet for some reason. Um, could be the hybrid. We got two hybrids in here kind of an OG one over here, something that's been good for many years and kind of a newer one over here. So I guess later we'll be able to compare those a little bit. This trench is a real pain in the, in the you know what. It's a real pain in the RC. Definitely don't see that every day. It's a helicopter. It's one of them flying machines. I cannot express enough how I love when this is just, just a whole number. I mean, they're all whole numbers, I guess, but like 36,000, now that, 36,000 minus 28,000, that is some math I can do. It's 8,000. <laughs> this is a recipe for disaster we got here. The combine's getting real full. We got a big trench coming. Stay tuned. Oh, the corn's shifting. Oh my gosh, I don't think we spilled a bit. It's about to though. You gotta swing that out, daddy -o. That was a close one. I could see the other little kernels pulling them back. Like, hold on, we're almost there. All right, it looks like it's showtime. 
How's my hair look? Like I just got out of bed. Let's do it. It's windy. It's a rabbit. There's like four little bunnies that just ran by. Yeah, so I think the uh, grain cart back home, it, not the grain cart, the grain bin, is gonna be full here really soon. So we're gonna have to head over there in a little bit and switch, just make sure we don't overfill it, because that would not be fun. I kind of want to hide that. Keep it as a souvenir. <laughs> so there was a while there where I was mic'd up and I was talking and I don't remember if I said anything weird, so I, I hope I didn't. I'm, I'm a pretty PG person, so it, sh it should be all right. But you never know, some things just slip out and you're just like, hmm. The wind is sure picking up. It's it's not pleasant out there, that's for sure. Dry, oh, today would be a bad day for a fire. Hope that doesn't happen. Now I'm getting suspicious. Is that thing recording too? Oh man, getting nervous. Reporting from Sunny Farms. The world's in the toilet, the market's in the tank. No, I can't fix that but I can fix a drink. I tell you what, these 80 acre fields are, it just, you feel so much more accomplished than when you're in the 160 acre fields. In those quarters, you're just like, holy cow. We've been out here all day and just put a little dent in it. Yeah, it's getting a little interview going on. What, you think he's telling a story? Back in my day, we used to take the trolley. Guys, I forgot to say moist. That's so disappointing. I suppose I better give it back. She probably didn't want to really be on video. She was just doing her job, but thanks for coming out. Jeff said the bin's pretty much full, so he's gonna bring that truck back. We're gonna fill that the rest of the way. And then we're either gonna, it's pretty windy right now, not sure what we're gonna do. Across the road, there's the soybean field, and the people who farm it just pulled in with four combines, like S, S something, some newer combines. They're just hammering it out. Japer, Graper. That is unpleasant. So there's one combine. There's two right there sitting full with their lights flashing. And then on the other side of that dust, there's one. I can also see they got a truck with a water tank in the back with this wind and this dryness. Fires are definitely something to be worrying about. You think we could pull in there with our corn head and just start going? No one would notice. It's like, oh, it's just another combine, whatever. Trench is getting on my nerves, especially when they got fully loaded grain cart. We better slow her down real good here. Well, we're gonna shut down and work on some other stuff and it's probably not the worst idea considering this wind and the dryness. Not a good time for a fire. Check that out. Yeah, the grain cart's running now. We're taking out a lot of beans. And they're making it really dusty over here. All right, let's see how full we are. Looks like there's a calf that thought the grass on the other side of the fence looked better. Now we got a stuck head. This thing does not look pretty. I guess that's why you don't run it into a bin. Next bin we're setting up at is this silo looking thing. It'll hold about 10 truckloads. As I mentioned, we haven't used this thing for like 10 years, so that'll be exciting. Well, hopefully that one will fit on the other auger. Now I'll set it back here, and on our drive home it'll blow out, and we'll, and we'll never see it again. Well, I don't think I told you guys that we were gonna work some cattle, but that's kind of why we quit early. There might be a reason for that. It's Yeah, there is, because I thought we were working like 12 or 15, but we ended up doing 70. I just, I didn't know what was going on. Anyway, that's why the time lapse of working cattle was there. And that's gonna be it. We're gonna go in, get some food, and go to bed, and then do it all over again. Perfect day. Is that a cat or a rabbit? Cat. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Rabbits generally don't climb up the side of a mountain like this. Oh, yeah, I thought I'd hopped. 
We'll see you next time. Have a good one.